We'd like to welcome our first guest here today on our show, Michelle Fisher with American Cancer Society. Thank you for being a part of our show today. We're very excited to have you. Thank you for having me. Thank Hello, you. Michelle. Good to have you on the show today. Thank you. I'd like to start with, what's the mission of American Cancer Society? Our ultimate mission is to save lives. We've been around since 1913. In 2013, we celebrated 100 years. Wow. That's awesome. And so that's 100 years of saving lives. Mm -hmm. And where is your office located? In Wilmington. Okay. And what do you do every day to, what does the American Cancer Society do every day to save lives? Well, when people ask me where the money goes, because that's most of the time the first question that people want to know. They want to know, where is my money going? And I always use ears to explain it. E is for education. We're educating people about um, protecting themselves against cancer. We're teaching them about treatments and where to get treatment. and a is for advocacy. We're advocating with our government leaders to make cancer a priority, to make cancer research funding a priority. And then R is for research. I mean, we can't get anywhere without research. I mean, we've had so many medical breakthroughs because of the American Cancer Society research. Um, so we need that funding. And then S is for services. We do all sorts of things to make the cancer journey a little less of a burden to the cancer patient. We have Road to Recovery, which is a program um, that uh, gets cancer, cancer patients to and from their treatments with, for, with absolutely no cost. Um, we have volunteers that will take them to their treatments, bring them back home. We have um, the Hope Lodge, which provides uh, free lodging during their cancer treatment. And there's an array of programming services that we offer. and, and folks can find that information on our website, which is www.cancer.org. Okay. Well, it's a great program, <clears throat> and uh, I like the way that you use the acronym EARS. Uh, education sounds to me like research and then servicing the folks that are dealing with these issues and their families, which Absolutely. are three great, great ways to, to spend that money, those dollars to help folks. Absolutely. What is your main event that you do. I'm familiar with it, but I'd like for you to tell the folks a little bit about your main event. Most people have heard about it. It's been around a long time. Absolutely. Relay for Life is our signature event. It's our signature fundraiser. And right now we are gearing up for Relay for Life of Brunswick County, which will take place the first weekend in May. We are in the process of signing up teams, returning teams, as well as new teams, and anyone can start a team, whether it's a group of friends and family, whether it's a business, a church, any kind of group of people who would like to get involved and just, you know, fight back against cancer, they can join. What do you mean when you say teams? What does that team do? Say the three of us want to be a team. How does that work? Just so the audience knows. Well, the first thing you need to do is go to our website and register your team. Which and that website is www.relayforlife.org forward slash Brunswick NC. Okay. They can sign up. It's very simple steps, and then you just start fundraising. So you go out and get pledges. You fundraise by doing bake sales, anything you can do, basically your team mm -hmm. that you can come up with, your team can do to raise money for Relay for Life. Absolutely. It's, it's a variety of things. We have people who write letters to family and friends who send them donations, and we have teams that, of course, do the bake sales like you mentioned. They sell plates. They have car washes. They, do all, they have all sorts of ideas, and it's always interesting to see how creative the teams right. get with their fundraising. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I have to do that this year, Tony. Y'all okay. come on. Yeah. Join Start us. We'd love team. to have That'd you. We'd have our team team. Absolutely. <laughs> so tell us, too, now we've talked about what the team uh, fundraising part of it. What happens on the actual 24-hour period that Relay for Life happens there the 1st of May? It's a pretty big event. It is. And I tell you, there's no other event like Relay for Life. We do, uh, I mean, it is a celebration of life. It's a chance for us to... Um, remember those that we have lost from cancer, but it's also an opportunity for us to celebrate the lives of those who have beat it or are beating it. Right. And you know, one of the most, um, one of the most, uh, I guess, emotional parts of the event for me and a lot of people is the luminary ceremony. Mm -hmm. You know, I know there's lots of walks around for different organizations, and they're great as well, but there's nothing like that luminary ceremony that Relay for Life brings. You know, to see those, <clears throat> to see those ba white bags lit up around the track 
with a name of that's a person right. that's been told, you have cancer. I mean, there's power in that. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. And those luminaries, that, <laughs> this event takes place, like you said, on May the 1st and 2nd, correct? Yes. The luminary ceremony will be that Friday night, yeah, normally right. around 9 o'clock. And that's when at West start. Brunswick High School yes, right sir. down the road here yes, from sir. where we're at here at ATMC. Yes, West Brunswick. They've been very supportive of our event, and we just appreciate all their support. Michelle, tell us a little bit about how you got involved with the American Cancer Society. Well, I'm a pageant girl, and at the time, in 1999, I was Mrs. White Lake Water Festival. Cool. <laughs> and when you hold a title, you're expected to go out and represent and make appearances at various events. Well, I heard about this event called Relay for Life at my high school where I graduated from, and I thought, well, I'll go out and make an appearance. Well, I did, and that night my life was changed. Wow. Oh. And it's emotional for me because I got to look in the eyes, in the faces of all these people walking the track that have been diagnosed with cancer. And I would expect kind of, I mean, honestly, kind of doom and gloom on their faces. They were not. They were victorious. They were walking mm -hmm. around that track smiling mm -hmm. because they're, they're, they're beating this. Yeah. Right. And, and I wanted to get involved because I, too, had had family diagnosed with cancer. Mm -hmm. My best friend, for example, was told when she was diagnosed with cancer shortly after she was married that she would never have children. She has three boys today. Yeah. Well, and you know, you say that your friend and family members, uh, I'm not sure exactly what the statistic is today for how many people and so many will have cancer, but it touches everybody. It does. I don't know of anybody that I've ever talked to that's not had been touched by cancer by, through a friendship, a family member, relative, <coughs> their own selves, uh, someone they worked with. It's just hard not to be affected by it. That's right. That's why we need everybody to join the fight. Mm -hmm. If you can't form a team and you can uh, write us a check for sponsorship, right. we, we appreciate that as, just as much. Now is that sponsorship information on the website too? Is there different levels of sponsorship or how does that There work? are different levels and it should be on our website by now, but if it's not, I can certainly get that information to anyone who's interested. Okay. And will you share that com contact information one more time for us? The website no. and the phone number. The website is www.relayforlife.org okay. forward slash Brunswick NC and feel free to call me. I am the representative for Brunswick County, 910-991-6299 and I would be glad to help anybody in any way get started. Do you guys have a storefront also? Uh, uh, like a uh, building, that an office building? We have an office in Wilmington. in Wilmington. Yes, sir. Okay. And where is that located It's at? on Wrightsville Avenue, 2202 okay. Wrightsville okay. Avenue. Okay. Michelle, thank you so much for being a part of our show today and sharing some personal stories and some information about the American Cancer Society. And um, hopefully we will see you at Relay for Life. Thank I you. hope so. I look forward to seeing your team registered <laughs> on the website. Yes, well, thank, you. thank you for thank having you so me. Much. Glad to have you. We'll be right back.